G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, get your Wi-Fi working uh, if it's not working out of the box when you first install Linux Mint. Now the reason why your Wi-Fi is probably not going to work and you can't actually find it when you go to the networking icon is that reason why it will be is because uh, the driver for your Wi-Fi card actually requires the proprietary drivers and one way to get around that is to find a program in your applications and in your applications menu and it is called it is called additional drivers I can't find it there but just go to your terminal this is the easy way to always find it and type in jockey-gtk that's all you have to press, jockey-gtk. And to, of course, open up a terminal, uh, find that in your applications menu or type in control alt t Now, I'm in there. I'm going to press enter now. There we go. I'll just wait for that to load up. It shouldn't take too long. And the additional drivers application should show up, which is uh, the name of it, additional drivers. Now... Just give that another moment to load. Now, when it does actually load up, uh, you will give, be given the option to activate or enable certain drivers. Uh, being a Wi-Fi driver, it's usually Realtek or um, or Broadcom or something like that. Here we go, searching for available drivers. And you'll see a little list there with a little gray or a green circle next to it. Now, the gray or the green circle uh, indicates whether it's enabled or disabled. As you can see, I've got one... Uh, proprietary driver enabled and uh, look for your Wi-Fi card then click this button down the bottom currently mine says deactivate but uh, yours will say enable of course enable it close it off restart Linux Mint you may not have to um, just see if it works first go down to your networking icon after it's enabled and see if you can see Wi-Fi hotspots. If you can't, that's okay. Reset your Linux Mint, uh, reboot, and then log back in and uh, see if you can find your Wi-Fi card. And uh, chances are you will be able to find it. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you get your Wi-Fi card working if it doesn't work when you first install Linux Mint. I hope that is of some help to you guys. I understand this to be a really big problem. It was for me many a year ago, and uh, I hope I can help you guys out with that. Cheers.